Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued sub, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless um, my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So uh, isn't it so apt that this week uh, when Mars moves into Aries you would get the Emperor card. The Emperor card represents you in the tower. Uh, now interestingly uh, if you haven't seen it I have put out um, currently in the middle of a series with Heva from Astrology with Heva uh, all about how the intersection of the Major Arcana and the uh, and the astrology zodiac uh, interact so it's really exciting if you haven't seen it check it out some of them are on my channel some of them are on hers so if you want to see the whole series you're going to have to subscribe to her channel too with that said um this week you have the emperor this week it's all about you aries right <laughs> when isn't it <laughs> right it's all about how you show up for yourself but this is also about how you choose to put your foot down right uh, now interestingly enough if you haven't seen it please check out the weekly general i think there's a good message in there for you this is going to be a week where you're working smarter not harder now the fact that you have the emperor card means that this week you really are about it right this is how you show up for yourself it's the um it's the energy of you really sitting in your own power. The Emperor card always talks about you becoming or you know claiming the authority in your own life in some way, shape, or form. And I actually feel like this is is really going to happen for you in a lot of ways. I feel like there's a lot of you that will be making very firm decisions or sticking with certain types of commitment this week. It actually feels like a lot of you will be initiating something as well. Um, so let's check it out for your actions and options you have the king of swords so whatever it is this week or for a lot of you look at this the emperor with the king of swords that's usually a legal professional so if i saw that in somebody's uh, in somebody's deck i would be like yeah you're a legal professional you're either a lawyer or a policeman somebody that works as a judge etc right and i've seen it a few times trust me <laughs> and it's always funny when you call it out and people are like who have, you, who have you been speaking to? Have you Googled me? And you're like, no, the cards told me. Um, right, but your King of Swords, usually an air sign male, right? So this could be a, 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 an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Now, because this is about your actions and options, this is about your career. This is about how you show up. For some of you, this is about studies. For some of you, this could be you're deciding to go back to school. For some of you, you're deciding to go after a specific qualification. For some of you, maybe you're looking to uh, work with or alongside a bigger or larger institution than just you. So if you're a freelancer, or an independent or a consultant of some sort, you could be finding some sort of um, alliance this week with a, you know, with like a bigger party of some sort. So that could be really interesting, but it does look like your, uh, your career in some way, shape or form is gonna be very much at the forefront of your mind this week. For your communications and conversations, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So this week, it looks like you're being very selective with what it is that you say. It looks like you're being very deliberate about the things that you do talk about. It feels as well like you will be very honest and very open about everything as you usually are, sometimes too honest, um, right? But this week, it feels like a lot of the conversations that you're having, you're asking specific questions like on a very deliberate level which makes me wonder if this is a legal situation for a select few of you uh, maybe the reason you're asking certain questions is because you need certain information before you move ahead with a specific goal a specific launch um, you know it just it feels like whatever whatever conversations and communications you're having this week you're very deliberate about them. You are taking your time to make sure that what you hear is exactly what you're hearing rather than what you want to hear. It feels like this week you are being very calculating. Uh, and I don't say that in a, as, as a bad thing. Um, you know, sometimes being, sometimes the best compliment that you can get is that you're ruthless, right? <laughs> so 
Um, for your money and materials, you have the star card, right? So I have an Aquarius person here who is showing up for you, King of Swords, air sign, uh, usually an air sign male, star card in close proximity. Uh, so this pairing would tell me that you are dealing with an Aquarius person or somebody that has a lot of those kind of traits. Now for your personal money and material, it looks like whatever you are doing when it comes to your career, even with your communications and conversations, it looks like whatever you're setting up this week, it has far reaching ripples. This is about you building something or creating something that is effectively you, it's like the foundations that you're gonna build your your empire on, right? Emperor. So yeah, very interesting. When it comes to your money and materials, it looks like you are getting, excuse me, oh, excuse me. It looks like this week you are getting some sort of, um, some sort of good news, but from a very official source. So it's kind of like one of those things where maybe like an employer uh, says to you or an mortgage advisor, you know, when someone says to you, look, um, I'm gonna tell you this, but it's between me and you until you hear it officially. It feels like you could be getting that kind of news this week for your uh, materials. So home looks good. It does look like some of you are either planning to move or about to move or certainly finalizing uh, you know, details, paperwork, etc. And then for your health, uh, this is a week for you to look after your, your nervous system um, and really pay attention to your calcium and your salt levels. Now, again, I'm not a medical professional. I can't give you that kind of advice. I can just tell you what I know about the cards and the systems that they rule. All right, for your love and relations, you have the strength card. This is great. For those of you that are partnered, this is gonna be a week of really heartfelt connection for you guys. This is in fact, if it is because of a change of residence, it kind of feels like whatever change is being wrought this week, you and your partner are just like, oh, you know what? We feel so much better for it. It's just kind of like an energy of, yes, this feels like the right move that we've made. For those of you that are single, it does. It looks like you are meeting somebody online. This could either be a legal professional or somebody that works in a uniform of some kind. Uh, not unheard of for Aries people. You guys love a, a uniform, right? Um, but it does definitely look like you're either meeting somebody online or you're meeting somebody through a th through a friend this week. So it's going to be a really interesting week for you guys. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care and I'll see you soon.